The educational programs in Jarahi started thanks to two local organizations, JUSUR and SAWA for Development and Aid, who in March 2014 began teaching activities in what was just a simple tent structure. The school here that was previously built was simply a tented structure with thin timbers, a tarpaulin sheeting, uh, very little light, very limited, in fact, no insulation for the winters. يعني بالشتوية طين وما طين بيروح الولد نظيف ويرجع وسخ ودائرة كانت يعني كلها زبالة في قال لك إنه في مشاكل كمان من ال من الخيام نفسها. This camp and settlement and the school that we're building will hopefully provide something that's far more suitable for the needs of children. The history of the building that then became the Jarahia School actually begins in Italy during the Expo 2015, which was a temporary event that was being held in Milan. La sede Children ha contattato il nostro studio per realizzare il padiglione per Expo 2015 a Milano. Fin dall'inizio abbiamo pensato che la costruzione del padiglione per Expo fosse una tappa intermedia di un percorso più lungo o di un progetto più lungo, che avesse visto appunto la ricostruzione del padiglione stesso in un'altra parte del mondo. This project sets the first example of global reuse of a temporary structure to provide a needed infrastructure in response to the Syrian refugee crisis. The construction started in July 2016 when the Catalytic Action Team engaged with the Syrian and Lebanese communities of Jarahie and its neighboring towns. The aim of the Jarahie School project is to provide a good quality educational space for Syrian refugee children in Lebanon through a process of participatory engagement with the community members during both the design and implementation phase. I've seen the, the impact this has and the difference it makes and how it empowers the community and the children to feel like they have something on, of their own. شغلهم حلو حلو دقيق حبيتهم وحبيت شغلهم في عنا هون بالمخيمات خبرات كمان مثل ما أنتوا أنتوا الخبرات في عنا خبرات إحنا هون والأفضل إنه في ظل عمال من نفس المخيم تشتغل بالمشاريع الخيرية. We engaged with the community from the beginning, so the community was feeling that this space was their own space. You make this project for them, like they will uh, get involved in the project, they will feel it's their school also. Also for the children, if their family is working here, their parents are working. One of the objectives of the project was to transfer context-appropriate technology skills and innovative design solutions to the community while generating livelihood opportunities. And we did this by prioritizing the use of local materials. For example, uh, through the choice of using sheep wool as insulation material, we were able to support uh, small farms in the Beka Valley. La lana como aislamiento tiene una gran capacidad, es también transpirable, ¿no? eh, permite regular la humedad del espacio interior. El proceso comienza con el lavado de la lana, que es lavado manual, ha sido llevado, eso se ha realizado por familias del de propio asentamiento. Después eh, hay un, una parte que, eh, que consiste en esponjar la lana. Después bueno, pues, eh, viene un, un tratamiento que realizamos eh, contra los insectos y para mejorar la protección a e incendio de, de la lana. Women in the settlement already had the knowledge of how to prepare this material, so the input of uh, catalytic action was uh, simply to teach them how to treat it in order to be used uh, as insulation. The 
بالنسبة لمشروع المدرسة كتير يعني ممتاز جدا وتصميم رائع كتير وبيدل لشيء يعني بيعطي للمستقبل بيعطي للمستقبل يعني معنويات للأطفال بيرفع من معنوياتهم بس يوم تغيرت المدرسة رفعت المعاني عند أهل الولد مع الولد كمان يعني حس الولد يتعلم أكثر استوعابه راح يكون استوعابه أكثر ليش لأنه صفه مثل بلده كأنه بلده عايش إنه شيء نظامي مو بخيمة مثل عم يدرس بخيمة عم يدرس بمدرسة مبينة نظامية قبل كان خرابة شو كان هلا افضل بكثير يعني هلا شو مدرسه نظاميه هلا شو ما في احلى منها هلا الطلاب بيرتاحوا فيها هلا هلا تغيرت يعني صفا نحن بنامن على الولد اكثر اكفى و... وانظف الولد وحتى معنويه الولد ترتفع اكثر المعنويه تبعه والراي بصير بيعرف يقرا شوي huge part of what catalytic action is about. It's about inspiring thought changes to create new ways of looking at building your environment and building it in a way that is uh, accessible for them. It's a primary goal as to what we want to do. Participation, uh, sustainability and transparency. We can involve people, we can use their landscape in a new way and we can also explore new ideas together. If you ask me what's the best thing about this project, it's definitely sharing everyday life moment with the people of the Jarahi settlement. We are truly honored that they welcomed us in their lives. Mm -hmm.